Good evening, everyone. My name is Davide, and in the last two months here in uh, Pi School, I've worked on a fraud detection system applied to travel bookings. Fraud are a very big problem for our online transactions. Criminals use uh, credit, uh, stolen or uh, cloned credit cards to buy online, and when the real owners discover that someone else has used their money to buy online, the companies have to reimburse the amount of the transaction back. Wanderio is a travel e commerce company that sells tickets. Wanderio has to face the fraud problem as well, and their solution today is to use a, a third party service to grade all the transactions. This third party service gives a, a score to all the transactions, and this score uh, is uh, represent the probability for the transaction to be a fraud or not. So all the transaction with a low score can be immediately processed. Instead, the transaction with a high score, they will need to be manually reviewed. The problem of the manual review is that it's a very tedious process, and uh, the number of transactions that get flagged as fraud is increasing, together with the growth of the company. So Wanderio asked us, if it is possible to do better, if it is possible to reduce the impact of the internal cause of the frauds? The answer is uh, that yes, it is possible. It is possible because we can access more information. We can know all the details of the transactions, even the ones that are not shared with the third party service. And we can know the internal cause for the human review. Together with that, one day you provided us a data set with 32,000 transactions, 800 of which are frauds. With this in mind, we decided to tackle the problem with a cost-sensible approach. What does it mean to have a cost-sensitive approach? Let's think, let's think of an example of four transactions. We, we know that each transaction is worth 100 euro, and then the cost to review a single transaction is one euro. We can try to optimize the accuracy. And uh, like an example on the left table. And uh, with that approach, every misclassification counts as an error, no matter what it is about. Instead, if uh, with the cost sensitive approach, we try to optimize the final cost on the right example, we can penalize every mistake with its real cost. In this way, we can immediately understand that, for example, to unpredict a fraud is particularly expensive because we have to refund back the amount of the transaction. In this case, it's 100 euro. Trying to optimize the cost calculated with the cost-sensitive approach will then first minimize the most expensive errors and this will improve the average cost for every transaction. With this in mind, we applied this concept to different models, and in our best results, we were able to reduce the total loss caused by the fraud by the 20% every month. And with the same cost-sensitive approach, we can now also do an important impact to the fraud detection market that today is worth $16 billion. I want to personally thank you, the sponsor, Wanderio, for the project, my mentor for the big, big help that uh, he brought to all the project, Simone Scardapane, and you for your attention. Thank you. <laughs>